Ha, ah, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Lol. Welcome back to another PunchyPod video with me, James. Um, in this video, I'll be showing you how to install a mod. Now, I've done a mod video before, but um, this is a different one. This is single player commands for 1.5.1. And people have been thinking, well, how does that work if they've already added in commands, like changing the weather and stuff? in a previous update which has been updated in 1.5.1 not horrendously but a little bit like some bug fixes but how does it work well in this video I'll show you how to install it and download it from the right website so you don't go download a virus okay uh, uh, and you don't want Trojan Horse either I had it uh, I think yesterday yeah, I had it yesterday. Right, so this is the file. I'll show you how to get to that in a second. Alright, so without further ado, go to your internet. Go down. Um, I'm just going to look at my history. Oh, here it is. Alright, this link will be in the description. If not, the link to the download will, because I'm generous and I like doing that. No one can stop me. And so I'm going to click on this media file link right here. That's where it is. But you guys won't have to bother with the website because I'm putting the download link right there for you. So you guys are lucky. Oh, stupid ad about pills. No one cares. Alright. So then just drag it onto your desktop when it's done. When it's done. And this mod is a special mod. It does not need a. Uh, doesn't it doesn't need any other mods to run it like mod loader and audio mod and all, the, all that junk now there's a couple ways you can install it you can install it via mc patcher you can install it via magic launcher or you can s install it the good old fashioned way i'll be installing it the good old fashioned way because it's the most easiest way and it's the most lag free way as well, if you guys have trouble with your PC, I finally found out what the hell was wrong with it. You're uh, you're either using MC Patcher to install your mods, or you're using Magic Launcher. Now, I'm not dissing Magic Launcher. Magic Launcher is amazing, but it will lower your FPS rate. So, if you want a lag-free mod installer, you can do it the old-fashioned way. So, it's it's Windows key R, right, to open Run. But you don't have to do it that way. Yours would be like the start button would be down here and you click it and then there should be like a command thing you can type in, like a search. And then you type in run, because run will take you directly to it and then you just type in app data. Then you go OK. Uh, if that is not how you do it on your computer, then I do not know how. Go research how to get to run or dot .minecraft. So basically go into roaming, go into dot .minecraft, go into bin. Now you'll have... Uh, lots of files that are really confusing. You might have three Minecrafts, that's because you've been using MC Patcher or something. This Minecraft 1.5.1 is for MC Patcher, do not touch that. That's his or that's Patchy's or MC Patcher's, so do not touch that file. This is yours, open it up. It should be Minecraft, if it's not, it might be Minecraft.jar, but it's not likely to be like that. Now I've already installed it, so basically you'll see a file called metainf here you want to delete metainf and then empty it from your recycle bin because it is completely useless and you will not ever need it right so then grab your uh, I think I put it up there yo this is the right one anyway right grab your mod put it next to it open it up and put them side by side and there's a number of ways you can do this first you want to like click into space there right? and then you click back on here you can either select them all like that, but the easiest way to get make sure you have all the fires is Control A, and what you want to do is just drag and drop. And if not, if you're not comfortable with drag and drop, which I don't know why you wouldn't be, uh, you can just go uh, copy. Where is it? I don't know. It should be in there. Copy and then paste. Or if you're not even comfortable with pressing Control A, just go select all. And it even says there. Alright, once you've installed it, you can go into Minecraft. 
make sure you don't have notice installed like in my last video it will not work if you have notice installed people so just letting you know sometimes it takes a while to launch it I think it's because I've had a world recently that's been covered in lava pretty sure there's lots of cool things you can do with this mod guys it's not all a bad mod Oh, I'm in a jungle. Hang on. Uh, yep. Break through jungle temple to escape. Alright. So, this mod isn't a bad mod. This is a really good mod, actually. You may think, oh, it's useless, though, because I don't really know anything about it. Well, you're gay, because what this mod is very easy to use. All you have to do is type in slash slash help. And it comes, and then you press T, and it comes up with all the commands you can say. So, but the, obviously, you would put like two slashes in front of all the commands for. See how you go slash there, and it says unknown command, try command for help. If you type in help, it will bring up this the uh, the single player command thing, which is not what you want. You want to go slash slash to act, to you know use the tools on the thing. Now. Go down to my little testing place. Alright, so here, this is a water puddle. It's actually not even a puddle, it's like a mini pond. Pretty sure. You can type in slash slash drain, and then it will ask for the radius. So you go slash slash drain 60, and it's gone. If you are unhappy with what you've just done, you click there, and you go. Or press T or slash whatever you activate your chat bar and then go slash slash undo and it brings back the water. So that's pretty handy if you've uh, if you like doing stuff or something. Here's another thing I'd like to show you. If you go slash slash tree, oh, slash. I think I already have it activated. Well, if you go slash slash tree. Um, slash slash tree, slash slash tree. Oh no, sorry, it's not slash slash. Some of them are just slash. So, tree tool bounded to hand. That means I am able to grow a tree from my hand, which is pretty cool. Um, another thing, it's pretty cool. Ooh, what is? What, I'm finding tons of uh, ruins here today. Mob spawner fail. Uh, if you go uh, uh, slash slash wand, it'll bring up this. This is really handy for if you build modern houses or you just like to build castles. You know, let's say you get some wool uh, and you go over here, you punch that, that means first position, and then left click, oh no, right click, sorry, to activate the next one, and you go set and you can either go set zero right now sorry set zero and it would like make a trench and go undo and go you can press the up button to previously what you've said and then go set like wood yeah and you could build like a really cool house if you wanted to using that uh, I'm not gonna go into full detail what else is now, one of the things I would like to show you is, that, you know how Hunger Games arenas have, like, those massive domes around them? And you're wondering how it's done? Well, you actually pretty much know how it's done, but you don't know how they did it on this mod. Well, this mod does that as well. If you're interested in making your own server and you like making a Hunger Games arena, then you just go slash us. I'm going to go slash us help. It is. It is. Slash slash. Been here somewhere. Do, 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 do. Um, and it's just reading through it. Very slow reader. Now, H S P H E R E. Right, H sphere, and then you can like select what block you want. So glass is the non laggiest you can set it to 500 that will say something different like 5000 blocks have been changed 
A reason why I keep uh, glitching out or something. Oh, here we go. See, it says. Uh, that's a lot of numbers. So we will bump into some glass. Pretty sure, yeah. This isn't as big as the Hunger Games arena one is. If I keep freezing, I'm so sorry. It is the jungle and everything trying to go. Hang on. I go undo because we're not going to find it. Oh, yeah, I remember that. That was a dome I built. Why doesn't it want to do undo? I'll undo successfully. Okay. Let's try just again. Instead of it being 500 to something like 50. Yeah, so here. Um, it goes all the way down to bedrock, I'm pretty sure. Depends on how big the radius is. Um, it It's not going to... You're not going to see the whole glass because it's still loading the chunks. But yeah, like I said, it goes all the way around. That's the middle. And so if you're interested in like building a house in here, you could build like, build like a... A house in here protect yourself from the lava or something um and it is real if people think it's not so you can hear the smash here's something i've been doing recently i've been making spheres out of lava so i decided to build a sun to build a sun you can do this 20 creates a glass box All right and then inside here Go sphere, and then you go lava, and then you would go something like sixteen. It's, yep, and here it is. Get me out of here. Yeah, kind of a fail. That's what I've been doing over here. As you can see, there was there used to be a um. A cylinder thing in here. I'm not gonna go in there because you can't see. But yeah, there used to be a whole town in there. And then I drop. See if you can see here. There it goes. You can see bits of the town. Where it used to be. If it was murdered by this lava. Um, something else you can do. I think you can spawn in animals. I haven't really had a look in it. If you can't, I'm sorry. I have must have confused it with something else. Um, spawn wolves ten. Oh, I am spawn wolf five. I'm not sure really. Uh, there was another thing. Help. You just go help, and it will have everything. Uh, you can make pyramids up to anything you want. You know what's really fun though to do? Is to go and drain all the water out of the thing. <gasps> oh yeah, I forgot. Uh say if this water is like well, bad example. Alright, see here? You go fix I think it might be a double. Um fix water and then select the rate uh radius five. And it's fixed it. So if you have really bad water problems and you can't fix it, then it will fix it for you. Like here, I can drain this whole lake, probably. Drain 50. Oh, whoops. You're getting confused with the original commands. Drain 50. God, I can't spell. Oh, cover And you need to be close to it. There, yeah, see? It says. Whoa. There's a lot. See? And it's all gone. Well, mostly. Up underneath that lava. There was an entrance or something. Something. Well, anyway, who cares? Because, yeah.
Alright guys, well, thanks for watching this video. Uh, I like to see that uh, there's been a lot of views on one of my videos. Uh, you guys keep it up. Um, yeah, basically, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I don't think you can rate. I think it's just like, but thanks guys for watching. Like I said, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and like, and add to Facebook, and add to Twitter, and add to Instagram, and add, and add, etc. Okay?